Today, we're going to teach you five essential Zorro moves that everyone will be able to pull off with a little bit of training. But why Zorro rolls? Are they that essential? Well, yes, apart from, well, looking really cool if you pull them off right, they can also be very effective and really beating your man, turning on the spot with a quick little move. So if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications on, and let's get rolling, 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 and humiliate Philip. Sorry, buddy. Thanks for coming. First up, we have what I call the roll step over, which is basically a really cool looking move, but it's also something I would typically advise you to do when you have the defender right in front of you and you need to change direction with a bit of a change of pace as well. So what you do if the defender is coming towards you, you basically take the ball and roll it a little bit across your body with your foot. And then to make sure that you get the proper acceleration away, you roll the ball and then you step over it with the other foot, basically letting it roll between your legs. Because apart from then, you know, making the trick look really cool, you also change your body direction. And once you step over, you have your other leg solidly planted in the ground in the direction you want to go, so you can really accelerate away. So it looks something like this. Secondly, we have the roll turn, which might seem slightly difficult and a little bit risky at first, but when you get it under your skin, it's actually very effective to turn on the spot while also protecting the ball relatively effectively. See, when you have a defender to either your right or your left, you have your back to him, you then take your strong foot, you roll the ball slightly across your body, and then you take the momentum of the rolling foot put it in front of the ball, because as you can see right now, I'm shielding the ball pretty effectively against Phil here. If he wants the ball, he has to give a free kick. So, when you do the roll, you put your foot down, and then you start turning your body. When you do that, you then push the ball away in a 90 degree motion with the toe of the other foot. Now again, it's a bit risky if you let the ball roll too far, or you don't protect it well enough with your rolling foot. So go out to the pitch, practice it against the cone so you really get it under your skin until you can take it on the pitch and wreak havoc on a guy like Phil here. Yeah. Third up, we have the Marseille turn, AKA the roulette, AKA the sedan turn, AKA whatever it's called in your country. Popular trick, many names, and it is probably the most popular of the soul rolls because it makes you look like a smooth operator on the pitch. And also, it's very good for making those 90 degree turns while again, shielding the ball pretty effectively. So, you can use this against one defender coming in, or even two, could be Phil and Jeff the Cone. My name is Jeff. Very good defender here. It's heavy, man. So when the ball is rolling a little bit in front of you, Phil is coming in, you come in, you roll the ball backwards with your strong foot. When you do that, you start turning your body with the back to the direction you want to go. And then in the same motion, you use your other foot to do a soul roll away in a 90 degree motion, basically leaving Phil and Jeff for dead. And if Phil or Jeff wants to get the ball, they have to go in, push my body, in which case I'll fall, and we'll probably get a free kick. So it actually looks like this. Here, au revoir. Next up, we then have the L-drag, which is by far, I guess, the simplest of the soul rolls, but probably also the most effective. And I've seen this move used at every amateur and even at professional level all the time, basically, because it's so easy and it gives you a lot of space. So if the defender is rushing in, I'm going in that direction, I can see that, okay, this is gonna become a sticky situation. I basically just roll the ball backwards and push it away with the inside of the same foot. I've got loads of space. I wave goodbye to Phil. We do the L roll dance. That's the way. So, in action, it looks like this. We're going over here. Bye. My last soul roll that I really like is something we can call the soul roll stop 
which is basically something that's kind of hard to learn at first, at least it was tricky for me, but when you land it, it's pretty cool to wrong foot the defender, set him off balance, especially if you're stuck standing still on the sideline. So, Phil is blocking my path, I wanna go that direction, I can't. So I pull off the side roll stop. Basically, I roll the ball under my foot, I put my foot down, let the ball hit it to either stop it or push it back in that direction. Because when I do this, you can see Phil expects me to go that way, but I go the other direction, buy myself some space to go into. So at speed, it looks something like this. Boom, boom, shake the room. So there you have them, my friends, five essential soul roll skills in the back. And of course, these are the easy ones. If you want to see the more advanced ones, I think we should call on PWG or 7MLC to pull those off. But let us know what you would like to see next in the comment section right down below. Of course, if you want the X Ghost of Point Ones from the Superlative Pack, you can buy them from unisportstore.com in the link right over there. Of course, also don't forget to go subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. Go learn some more skills in the playlist right down there. With that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.